Well, hi there, folks. Right, well, I've got myself one of these. First kit I've bought in a couple of years because I'm always making little conversions and foam board things. But I've got myself one of these. I'm going to put it together. But what do they say about it? Near indestructible. Even a head crash won't break it. Well, can that be true? Maybe we're going to find out. But I'm going to put it together. I'm not going to do a detailed build blog as it's been been around quite a while. Just Google Tech One Mythos. They're still around and apparently great fun to fly. This video is my tips for some of the improvements that you can make building it. And they will pay off because it means you can keep the model lighter and use a smaller battery. It was about 30 odd pounds. Not a lot. The kit's got all the foam parts including a lovely profile wing that's actually ready built. It's got an undercarriage, the connecting rods, carbon rods, bits of wire and so on. It doesn't include you hoop pour which of course you'll need to stick it together. Anyhow I'm going to put it together and then we'll see how she flies. Right so there she is my first kit built model if you want to call it that a model. Cheap budget 30 odd quid. First I've built in a couple of years and I must say I'm looking forward to flying it. All up weight with the 800 3S is just over 250 grams. Got a 6040 on the BR1806 here, which seems to be probably almost enough for it to prop hang. Let's see, I'll give it a bit of a test. Oh yeah, that's going to prop hang with that on it. More than enough power, might be a bit too much for the motor. I was going to put a 5040 on, but I'm going to try it with that. The motor might get hot running flat out with it, but I think it'll probably cruise around easily at half throttle and better to have too much power than too little. Anyway I made quite a few changes to the instructions that they gave with this model and they worked out really well so I thought I'd share them with you. The instructions are well written and in good English but first off the most important change I made was the plans have the elevator and rudder servos installed at the tail end of the fuselage way back here and as you probably know any weight that's added towards the tail of a plane you've got to probably multiply by a factor of 10 or 20 to compensate for it on the nose. And if you want to use the battery they suggest an 800 to 1000 milliamp 2S you'd find you'd have to add quite a lot of lead at the nose to achieve the centre of gravity they suggest or even use a 1300 3S. I wanted to keep this as light as possible. So the first major change I made and the most important change was I relocated those rudder and elevator servos from the intended positions there to closer to the center of gravity. So we've got rudder servo here and on the other side elevator servo there. I went to 5 gram or 6 gram servos, used the carbon rod they supplied as a control arm and I had to actually fix the wires for the actuators here with 5 minute liquid metal. That works fine. Some little supports there glued on. A bit of hot glue. You have to be very quick if you use hot glue with this because it will burn a hole. As far as the rest of the build it goes, aileron servos there. No problem. I changed the kit a little bit. Didn't like theirs. Receiver is in there and the lost model finder tucked down there. Speed controller there. And the other major change that I made so that I could actually get the speed controller in there was I opened up this little compartment here quite easy just run a blade along the edge of the foam reinforced it a bit with a bit of foam board because it's quite flimsy foam and a tiny little 800 milliamp 3s fits nicely in there I've got a little mini bulk bulkhead there in foam that will stop it shifting in flight and as you can see it just secures down with cocktail stick and rubber band motor I'm using is the Raystar BR1806 with a 6040 prop which is a, a slightly on the on the big size but as I showed you it'll actually prop hang with that so it'll probably only need half throttle just about balances perfectly now on the on their COG I think it's going to need about just maybe two grams of lead just to give it a slight nose down attitude I'll put links to the motor speed controller and so on in the video description down below I'm using a 20 amp speed controller, don't think it really needs that, but better to be over than under rated. So that's about it, those are the changes I made. Looking forward to flying this, I've seen another test video of it, it flies really well and it's so lightweight that you can do anything you want with it. I mean it's amazingly light and I think it looks really pretty. 
So I think there's still some of these available. I'll put a link down below to the place I bought it from. It's very quick delivery from there, no problems. And as soon as I get a chance to maiden it, you will see it on this channel. Maybe give it a like and don't forget to hit subscribe if you want to see that maiden. Oh, and don't forget to check out some of the other vids on my channel. Lots of radio control stuff, and but also paragliding, paramotoring, uh, but there's even sailing and wildlife and all kinds of things. But that's it for now. Hopefully I'll catch you all later. Bye for now.